All right, so this one is another silhouette with the sun in the back. I got a little bit of the light rays here. And uh, yeah, getting her hair lighting there. And one of my favorite shoes, especially with the sunset. Having the sun behind the subject gives it more of a moody feel, especially with the shadows. So here we go. Uh, going over to the masking tool, plus sign, select subject. This is a fantastic tool. Very quick and easy to use, and got a pretty clean mask. I'm going to duplicate and invert the mask. That way I can control the lighting between the subject and the background and foreground. So let's start with the background. I am going to put a little bit of a dehaze to see what we got here. And a little bit of light. There we go. So going back to the subject. What I like to start with is starting with a little bit more texture, give it page, uh, <laughs> personal definition, subject a little definition. And I'm actually going to bring this up a little bit, bring down the highlights, bring up the shadows a little bit so we can get her a little highlighted. And increase the contrast just by a little bit. Now during this pass of editing I'm not worried of issues here I'll deal with that later right now I just want to get the entire body of the subject lit properly where I can see it comfortably without having to squint my eyes or adjust the lighting so let's see here um, I do want to bring up the color of the ocean. I don't see the ocean very well, so we're going to go back to the background. And uh, let's see, increase color saturation. Eh, not so much. I think we need to dehaze it a lot more. There we go. We get some of that blue sky. A little too aggressive in contrast, so we're going to lighten up the contrast and decrease the saturation just a little bit. I think there's too many, too much shadow here in the ocean, so at least we get a little bit of the a little bit of sky. I think it's a little too aggressive for my opinion. So I think we're just going to keep it very highlighted. Bring down the highlights as well. Get a little definition of the clouds. There. Bingo. Don't want that too bright. Let's see what this does. Ooh. You know what? What I'm going to do is bring that down and actually. Create a new mask, a linear gradient, pop that down so I can get some of that skyline without contrasting too much of the ropes and what's underneath the subject. I don't want too much saturation. I don't want that color to pop too much to take away from the subject, attention from the subject. So, let me see, we're gonna go back to, there we go. I like it. Subject here. Do you like a little color? Too much color? Not enough color? The dress is beautiful. I want that to pop a little bit more. So I'm going to brush ever so gently. Let me see. Yeah, about there. Get that dress to pop out. My salmon. Bingo. There we go. Alright, now from here, we're going to work on the skin, so I'm going to brush up on the skin right now. Let's see. Get that. The face, get the arm. Leave the hair. I don't like to do this technique on the hair because I don't want to lose definition from the hair. And what we're going to do is we're going to decrease the texture on this. And of course, I want to keep definition of the dress. So we're going to undo that. And let's see here. There we go. Undo it. And that's a little too much. So let's be even smaller. With, there we go. That should give us a good. Now, is this important? You might not even notice it, but I don't want the dress to look like it's detached because I softened it up so much. So I want to make sure that 
at least the middle part is well defined. And there we go. And don't miss some of that skin. So put it back up and I'm gonna call it quits there. Oops, and do that. Alright, so there we go to effects, we bring down the texture, I also actually don't want anything with eyes, I try to avoid softening, the, the eyes you want to be sharp, or at least I want it to be sharp, because that is the key to your soul, apparently. So any object that's not the skin, I try to unsoften it and keep it nice and sharp. Don't want to. There we go. Boom. There we go. Yeah. All right. And the earring is on. Put the pop. What else? What else? What else? I think that's okay. So now we take that texture, bring it down, soften the skin up a little. There we go. Beautiful. You don't want to do it too much, or else it's gonna look really funky. And now we're gonna work on the blemishes here. Let's go to healing. Now you kind of have to mess around with. Healing versus clone versus remove to figure out which one's gonna be the best one. I like to get really close. There we go. Luckily, this is very easy to use. And because we were on the catamaran, there wasn't much time to put on makeup. This is one of those spur of the moments. Hey, we're gonna have fun. Not gonna worry about looking too good. And I don't like that. It takes away from the. Let's see. There we go. And, and we're going to do another pass of masking on the face. Let's see what this does. I like to focus the softening of the face a little. Not too much, unfortunately. There we go. Alright. What is going on here? Probably from the rope. So, we're going to do a little bit of healing action here. I wish we could read it. There we go. There we go. Uh, too big. There we go. I think these are prints or imprints or scratches from. There it is. All right. I'm very tempted to try to get rid of this, but I think that'll get away. Eh, not too bad. Yeah, it's not too bad. Okay, cool. There we go.